What's up, MK fam? It's Ken and Mel. Welcome back to another video. We're not pranking each other today, unfortunately. But <laughs> we asked y'all on our Instagram for assumptions about us. Like, what y'all think just looking at us or like things that y'all just think about us in general. If y'all want to be part of future videos like this, definitely follow our Instagram at Ken and Melly because we post these all the time. We ask y'all for prank ideas. Sometimes we do your guys' prank ideas. We ask y'all for Q&A questions. We ask y'all for just just a, a shit ton of stuff like it's a lot of behind the scenes on our instagram before we get started make sure y'all leave a like comment subscribe comment down below what else y'all want to see from us or any future assumptions about us that y'all need us to clear up and turn on post notifications so y'all not miss out on another video but without further ado let's get started with the assumptions the first assumption that we got is kendrick is the one that's always cooking that's like 70 percent correct so I'm typically cook every time that we have breakfast or anything like that. I'm He's usually the one that cooks it. Yeah. The one that cooks that. But when we do dinners, the only time that he's really ever by himself on it is when I'm doing like schoolwork or something. Because otherwise, we love trying like new dinners together and like trying random recipes that we find off of TikTok or Google or whatever else. Yeah. So you know, majority of the time, I am the one that's cooking. The other time, we're cooking together. We're both cooking. Yeah. He's a breakfast chef. The next assumption is Melissa runs the relationship. That is false. Yes. I'm here to confirm that. No, I'd say you're pretty equal. Some days I wear the pants, some days she wears the pants. Some days we both got on like jorts or something. You know what I mean? All right, so my, next there's one. There's nuts stuck in my That's disgusting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> next question is Kendrick. I mean, not question, but next assumption <laughs> is Kendrick likes to be Little Spoon. That is correct. Every man wants to be Little Spoon. Does that not care. like strip you of your manhood though? I don't give a fuck. Like, okay, can you like genuinely explain to me what feels good about it? Being like, cause like all day, every day, it's just like I gotta be the, the big guy <laughs> and stuff. So like when I'm in bed, I wanna like, you feel me, relax and feel some warmth. You know, you don't wrapping feel warmth around my when body. You're, wrapping me. you're not wrapped around me. No, but when you're wrapping me, you don't feel warmth. Yeah, in my heart, but as far as being, <laughs> like, when you wrap me, it's like, my heart. But I can't even, body. like, I'm too small to even wrap around you. But that's what makes it cute. It's like you're little and you're trying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. The next assumption is y'all never fight. We're in a relationship. So be fucking for real. Like, <laughs> I beat her ass. <laughs> Next one is, um, do y'all actually get dirty, down and dirty after TikToks? I be rubbing dirt on his ass. I ain't gonna lie. We do typically like to go outside and play in mud afterwards. Yeah. I feel like it just relieves my childhood and things right. like that. You because know? everyone in today's day and age just be on their iPads and shit. Yeah. So yes, the answer to that or. To answer what you may be questioning, yes, we do get, we do get down we get and dirty, down and dirty after every TikTok, after every video, every single that we one. Make. So like after this, it's kind of like 1 a.m. right now, but we're gonna go play in some dirt. Yeah, so, yeah. Near the dumpster, you poop around him, and he makes jokes about it. Yeah, he actually asks to suck it out of my butthole. <laughs> What's crazy is that I'm being so dead ass serious Never right asked now. Never that a day in my life. Next assumption. <laughs> the next assumption is that. Male eats more. Now, <laughs> this can go in many ways. It can. When we're sitting down and eating, like an actual meal, I'll eat more. But throughout the day, she eats more. more. Yeah. So you accumulate everything throughout the day, she eats more. But if we're sitting down, having like breakfast, lunch, dinner, during each one of those meals, I'll eat more. Like for breakfast, for example, I can have like a serving of eggs and a serving of bacon. He can a have piece of bacon. Shut up. He can have sausages, five pieces of bacon, three waffles, two biscuits, okay, three pounds of syrup. The next <laughs> next assumption is Melissa needs help reaching things often. She's four yes. eleven. What do y'all expect? Yes. Everything at the top of my closet, everything in the top cabinets in my kitchen. Yo, we was at Bugs, Walmart, no. Lights. Like, we was at Walmart, and I'm messing around because, like, this was her shopping for the things that she needs. And typically, when that happens, I just be wandering off. I don't mean, I don't, I just be wandering off. 
But I turn around, I go back in the aisle, and I see her inside of the freezer trying to reach something at the top of the freezer. What do you mean? <laughs> when, you was in, when you opened the door, you was inside the freezer no. trying to reach it. And I was just like, what are you doing? All right, the next assumption is that he sucks toes. And he does. Mine. Only mine. The next one is your boyfriend's gay. So there's some, been something that we've been needing to tell y'all for a very long time. And um... The reason why we're breaking up... Is because, because I'm his cover up. Yeah. So I have actually... My came cat. out to my parents a year ago. But... I'm officially coming out to you guys as a real nigga. Alright, next! <laughs> The next assumption is you are two very close best friends. Yes. For y'all who did not know, we started out as friends. Not not like the bestest of friends, but we became kind of like best friends over time. And then I finally maybe was like, all right, maybe I should give this motherfucker a chance. I guess I just got like tired of like rejecting you. Next assumption <laughs> is that she beats me. That is very much <laughs> false. Are you going to say true? You were definitely going to say true. It is very... <laughs> Babe, that's actually bad. Stop. That is very I'll much true. I'll be beating something else. Um, the next assumption is y'all live together. We already addressed this. No, we don't live together. We are long distance until at least May of 2024. The next assumption is y'all gonna have some D1 babies. That is yes. true. My, I mean, our child is going to be dribbling a ball, throwing a football, swinging a bat, doing jumping Back jacks. Backflips. At the Back age flips. of conceived. Four. Oh. Yeah, that too. <laughs> In the womb, I need 10 push-ups a day, 25 sit-ups, 100 crunches, 12 jump ropes with the umbilical cord. So sorry if your stomach feels a little woozy. And I need sprints every day. You're done. The next assumption is y'all really the crackhead couple and not the insta perfect couple. That, I, yes. I like yes. that because some fact that like there's a lot of couples out here that first of all fake it. Second of all, yes, I'm exposing all y'all. I don't care. <laughs> I don't, don't care. A lot of them fake it. Awesome and Brum and Catherine. A lot of couples fake it. A lot of couples try to be that couple as far as like there's like famous couples, for instance, like Jay Z, Beyonce, boom. Some people try to force themselves into trying to be that and try to be that perfect. We just be ourselves and, you know, y'all enjoy it. We enjoy being ourselves. People like simply just it. copycat other yeah, couples. We don't want to copy nobody. I feel like every every famous couple y'all know is the insta perfect couple. We might take a couple good Instagram pictures, but that's not how we be. We don't be. When I tell you, every, we, we every take those day. pictures and we. This sounds wrong, but we strip right after. I hate wearing jeans. She <laughs> hates wearing dresses. Damn, she look good. I look good in jeans. But as soon as them pictures is over, we're done. We're out of them nice ass clothes, out of the the makeup and the hair doing whatever the hell, whatever the hell we got going on. Like we just chilling, and we we be looking like bums, really, really like everything you can imagine that's not insta perfect. Crackhead couple, definitely, because I feel like we definitely give off that energy in a yeah, lot of our just, videos. We just yeah. like to be goofy. We and just like to be ourselves. Like I said, like we're not like a lot of other couples, because you'll see other couples change their entire personalities when they start doing social media as far as yeah. we cuss a lot. Y'all see that. They will moving. literally <laughs> change their entire speech and things like that to try to be like that perfect couple. They don't curse. They don't do wrong and stuff like that. We, we we post it all. You know what I'm saying? So the next assumption is Ken never really asked you out. 
this is false because we once we started like finally flirting or once I started flirting back <laughs> um, I don't really know how long that was it wasn't that long and then we had gotten back from a trip and he had this entire like elaborate thing planned with the help of his lovely parents and had these like the like tiki torches thingies up to like a hammock with a build-a-bear that we made and call our son and um candle wait that's the tiki torches and then like rose petals and everything and then he gave me a bracelet and it was really really cute next assumption is i thought melly was mexican no i am asian i am not hispanic just clarifying that because I get that all the time don't feel bad but yeah there's the comments oh she's Asian I didn't know <laughs> next assumption is you guys steal each other's food when one of y'all not looking yes she steals my food I, I don't steal hers because I don't eat half the stuff that she eats I eat all the shit that she and I don't eat all the shit that he eats but I do be stealing his food right like I'll I had a headache one day right boom I go to get some fries from McDonald's. She's talking about, oh, I'll take two. Okay, give it two. Next thing you know, my fries was gone. It's crazy, right? <laughs> no, I did not finish your fries. Yes, you did. You did. But all right, guys, that is it for the assumptions. If y'all have any more assumptions about us, comment, comment down below, below. And we will make another YouTube video yeah, about Also, this. DM us on Instagram and stuff. We, we like to respond to you. We, we respond to almost everyone on Instagram. We've been slacking a bit lately, but that's because we're so busy with other things. But we will respond eventually. Yeah. And we also are looking forward to dropping some merch very soon. So stay tuned with that. Um... Yeah, yeah. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on a post notification so y'all do not miss out on the next video. And we love you guys so much and we will see y'all next time. Bye!